Hey guys, I'm Jay and I am just like super fancy like today because I just got back from my job at my mom's office. And um, this is just a filler video that, you know what, I decide, why the fuck not? Um, if you want to play a drinking game, then the rules are in the description, it, um, if that's up to you to play. But um, right now, this is just a filler video in order to entertain you guys, so feel free to, like, do whatever. And she's a doctor, so I've just been, like, filing stuff and looking up information about patients, and it's, like, legitimately the most boring job in the history of the world. But that's not what I'm here to talk to you guys about today. I am here to kind of shed a little bit more light onto my own beliefs about equality. So I've gotten some, not really questions, but kind of like comments and just kind of like little judgments um, saying like, oh, you're probably a feminist, like aren't you a feminist? Um, I'm assuming that you're a feminist. Um, and I've also gotten on my Instagram page a couple comments about if you believe in equality, why aren't you an egalitarian? Um, well, the thing is, I am. I am both. I am both a feminist and an egalitarian. And some people have told me that that's not true, you can't be both, but I mean... Yes, you can. <laughs> well, it actually depends more on your belief system. I mean, if you believe in the patriarchy, then, well, you're more of a feminist than an egalitarian because I don't see that many egalitarians actually believe in, in the patriarchy. So, yes, I do identify as both a feminist and an egalitarian. Um, honestly, I've seen that identifying as an egalitarian reduces the number of feminazi comments that I get. Um, and I mean, if you've seen my video, one of my videos that I posted last week, you will understand why I do not like that word. Again, this all depends on your viewpoint. If you believe in a the patriarchy, then you're more closer to being a feminist than an egalitarian. So I think I've said before that my own personal definition of feminism is the rights anti-discrimination and kind of respect. Um, and uh, on the grounds of political, social, economic equality, regardless of sex, gender identity, sexual orientation, race, religion, political views, aspects, or basically any non-harmful personal decision. You know, it's completely unnecessary for you to go to extreme details explaining what feminism actually is. I mean, just say that feminism is for equality and get on with it. And if you don't know, egalitarianism is basically the idea that everyone is equal. So my definition of feminism is very inclusive and very like heavily loaded. Like there's absolutely no way that you can have any exceptions to it. Whereas like everyone is equal is just basically a broad, it's a very broad statement. But yes, I do identify as both a feminist and an egalitarian. So kind of my ideology behind it is basically saying that I like some parts of feminism and I dislike some parts of feminism and I like some parts of egalitarianism and I dislike some parts of egalitarianism. How can you not like certain parts of egalitarianism? Egalitarianism is just a belief in equality for everyone. It's not a goddamn movement like feminism is. So I identify as both. And the idea of feminism really focuses more on feminine traits because, I mean, if you think about it, um, a girl in society can act girly, wear a skirt, um, or she can wear pants and she can wear t-shirts like a boy, um, and no one really cares, they call her a tomboy, but if a boy tries to wear some like feminine outfits, like wear makeup or a dress, um, he's made fun of for it. And it's really the feminine traits that society needs to accept. And well, I hate to burst your bubble, but everyone gets made fun of what they wear sometimes. You think tomboys are immune? Think again! That's what feminism is really focusing on. And feminism is also, if your feminism is, like, good, I guess, um, it focuses a lot on the LGBT community, it focuses a lot on being pro-choice, um, it focuses a lot on ending racism, it's very intersectional. Um, and it focuses on cultural appropriation and it basically means that everyone needs to gain more respect for each other in this world and just be nice to people. <laughs> but feminists also teaches men that they are rapists by default and only through proper education they will learn not to rape by teaching them consent. Also, we've seen protests against the MRAs and the MRAs are just trying to improve men's lives better. If you're going to label yourself as an egalitarian and a feminist, then why not start calling yourself an MRA? I'll tell you why, because the second you even start thinking that you should, all the other feminists will start chilling you out and say things like, you're not a true feminist or you just want to hop on that cock. Basically, like, we shouldn't be bullying people for their decisions that don't harm anyone else. And I like that about egalitarianism as well. It's very um, intersectional. I've seen a lot of um, pro-saga, um, sorry, egalitarians. Um, 
But the thing is, I've seen a lot of egalitarians only call themselves egalitarian because they're anti-feminist. Well, I do not deny that there are some people who become egalitarians because they're anti-feminist, i.e. your truly. However, that's not always the case. And they bash on feminism. Like, don't get me wrong, I have a lot of really good friends who are egalitarian. I have some good friends who are anti-feminist. Hmm, there's a joke somewhere something about some of my best friends are black. Um, I choose to identify as anti-feminist and are egalitarian. Um, and they post really, really good things. But a lot of the times, I see people on identifying as egalitarian only so that they can make fun of Tumblr feminism, modern feminism. Um, and a lot of the times, most of the claims aren't true. I have a very strong feeling you have never watched any video that's made by an anti-feminist pretty much debunking feminism. Basically, with my um, identifying as both, I basically, I've kind of just been wondering why the idea of feminism has become so tainted lately. Like, what drove people to make fun of it? Well, all it takes is just about five minutes of research, and that's about it. Why is it that feminists must act all so confused that, that people are opposing their ideologies when they don't want to explore why? They just sit there and act like all these people just don't understand. So, what's the only solution? Get out the dictionary, explain feminism like if you're holding up the Holy Bible. The idea of feminism has become so twisted that a lot of people think it's about misinjury. It's about women becoming superior to men. And that's why they choose to identify as anti-feminist when that's not exactly true. Because dictionary. So basically, um, in my not very professional opinion, um, identify as how you want. I don't really care. Identify as feminist, anti-feminist, egalitarian, go wear men in a shirt and I don't really care. But make sure you're actually promoting equality and not just bringing down other movements for equality. Then why aren't you speaking out against feminists who oppose the MRAs? Hmm? That's basically my only requirement. Just respect everyone, be nice to everyone. If you call yourself a feminist, don't just attack feminists. Actually advocate for men equality in society. Well, our rights of being men is basically being threatened thanks to feminism. As I stated before, they can't do things like wear dresses, they can't do things like dance, they have to play sports, they can't cry. Like, actually work on trying to change those things in society because that's something that society needs to become more attuned to. Yes, I agree that society should change a little. However, feminists don't have the right idea. So again, all I'm saying is I don't care what you identify as as long as you're actually for equality and as long as you're actually working towards making the world a better place. But you still do not identify yourself as an MRA.